What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub and then notify for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, captured statue, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply. everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the shares of my content on social media and word of mouth. It's really helping my channel grow. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do. I do. Okay, so um, I received a channeling. I was sitting here meditating. I'm going to go to bed soon, but I was going to see if I pulled anything through, and I did. So we're going to do this reading. I hope everybody's doing well. My hair, I look like a wet dog, but, you know, hey. That's like, just saying. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, there's currently a silent investigation going on right now. I heard regarding um, jail staff and police officers having sex with inmates in a jail. I heard through many, but through many series of chain of events, the silent investigation is about to turn into a very, 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 very public investigation. I heard many people that uh, many people that did not know about the silent investigation is about to get very intuitive spikes that work in this jail and work in the police precinct. Um, they're about to get very intuitive spikes that is happening in their own jail and police precinct. And through many series of chain of events, it's about to turn into a very, 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 very public investigation. Um, I heard people are about to be starting, uh, people soon are about to be put on leave and they will be terminated through many series of chain events. I heard it's going to turn into a huge thing. Uh, way more information is going to be uncovered than these people thought. People are about to start coming forward in a huge way. They never thought they'd speak on it and they're about to. Inmates, officers, and jail staff. Oh, shit. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Um, okay. So I, it sounds like a current silent investigation in the universe right now. But there are many series of chain of events. It's about to turn into a very public one. But it sounds like when it turns in, but, and it sounds like it's about to turn into a public one because somebody in this police precinct, whichever police precinct this is in the universe, and jail, whatever jail in the universe this is, I didn't hear specifically which one it is, but. People in the jail that work at the jail, I'm presuming, or the inmates or both, and the police that um, interact with this jail and the inmates and what have you, what have you, they're about to get into it to spice. It's, about, it's happening in their own. The, like, it's really happening in their jail, in their city, in their area, in their whatever, whatever, whatever. I didn't hear it was a city, but I'm feeling intuitively it probably is. Um, however that resonates and applies, but so a silent investigation is about to turn into a very public one. And I heard once it goes very public and the police officers or the police staff and the jail staff and the inmates or what have you, what have you get into it to spikes that it's actually, the silent investigation is actually happening in their own jail, their own police precinct, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The silent investigation is going to turn into a very public one. And I heard once it turns into a very public one, people are going to start coming forward. Inmate, I heard inmates, officers, and jail staff and reveal information on the um, something to do with jail staff and police officers having sex with inmates that they never thought they would. So you play getting how it resonates. There will be lawsuits out of this. There was a rape situation in one of these situations. Oh, my God. I heard there will be a lawsuit out of this. Um, it was a rape situation in one of these situations. So it was not consensual sex. It was a rape situation. Um, it, sound, it, sound, it sounds like police officers and jail staff have collaborated to have sex with inmates. But it sounds like in one of the situations, it was a rape situation. A jail staff or officer or both, possibly, rape an inmate. One of them was a rape situation. That might be the one that's about to turn into a lawsuit. But you plug in how it resonates. This is serious. Experience it just here.
This is about to turn into a much bigger thing than they thought it was going to. This is about to turn into a much bigger thing than they thought it was going to. So you plug in how it resonates. They, this is about to turn into a much bigger thing than they thought it was going to. So I'm assuming then the jail staff or the inmates or the police officers, the um, police jurisdiction or what have you, what have you thought it was going to. An emotionally secure, loving family. I just heard get terror. I just heard get terror. Okay. So it's going to turn into a much bigger thing than they thought it was going to. Experiments to this year, please. Justice reverse, injustice in the situation. A statement that's about to be written by jail staff is about to be damning to other jail staff and officers. A statement that's about to be written by jail staff is about to be damning to uh, other uh, to officers and other jail staff. So you could be the jail staff about to write this damning statement. Um, I think you know information on this um, collaboration with officers and jail staff to collaborate to have sex with inmates. It sounds like a lot of these situations it was consensual, but in one, it sounds like it was a rape situation. But whoever you are, jail staff, I think you might watch my channel or somebody's going to show you this video. I don't think you were a part of this, but you know about it. Um, and I think your statement is about to be very, very damning for these people. I heard it was going to. So whoever you are about to write this statement, you are part of a jail staff somewhere in jail. I don't think you were a part of this collaboration to collaborate together to have sex with inmates. Definitely was not a part of it. Definitely was not a part of it. That's confirmation. Okay, so you definitely were not a part of it, sir or ma'am. Um, and your statement is about to be damning to the people that basically collaborated together to have sex with inmates. And at least one situation was not consensual. I'll tell you that right now. Oh. Spare messages here, Professor. All right, so a justice reverse, eight of swords reverse, nine of wands reverse, ace of swords upright. I'm sorry, ace of wands, ace of wands upright. There was huge injustices done here, huge. And People just look the other way. But soon, a lot of action is about to come forward in this. A lot of people are about to stand up for this situation. Movement's about to begin. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So, uh, a lot of people look the other way in the past. Meaning, people that were not a part of this collaboration. The dirty officer, dirty dealt, I can't speak. Dirty uh, jail staff, dirty officers. Or the inmates that consented to have the sex free willingly, um, they were not a part of this, but they knew about it. I've heard a lot of people look the other way in the past. So people that were not technically a part of this collaboration to do this shit, um, for some I feel this committed prostitution. Maybe the officers or the um, definitely prostitution in some of these situations for a commissary. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, confirmation. Definitely prostitution in some of these situations for commissary. So, some of the inmates were prostituting themselves out to the jail staff or the um, officers. Free willingly selling their bodies to them for commissary. And anybody doesn't know, commissary is basically money put up in an account. Their commissary for food or um, or personal care products or what, whatever they sell in their commissary at the jail. Wow. Oh my God, that's terrible. But, um, yikes. Uh, so, 
I just don't even want to say it about that. But people were looking the other way about this. So other jail staff and other officers possibly and other people that knew about this, and it sounds like a shit ton of people did, and who wherever this is occurring, they looked the other way. But I heard soon action's about to come and it's about to start moving fast. So all these people that knew about it did not collaborate and didn't have sex with the inmates and didn't give them money for commissary and didn't rape an inmate and didn't collaborate with this whole guys with police officers and jail staff and inmates to have sex and prostitute themselves out for commissary and all this shit and in one situation a rape situation they were not a part of it but they knew about it but soon at least one jail staff is about to write a statement against these people person or people and it's going to be very damning to them I heard at the beginning of the channeling that once this goes public, basically a lot of people are about to be start putting on leave and they will be terminated. And they should be. They should be. So injustice in the situation, this whole prostitution for commissary or a rape situation, uh, one of them is a rape situation. So the inmate did not consent to have sex, but yet somebody exerted their dominance and um, over control and raped them. Um, huge injustice is done here. Eight is ordered reversed. Um, no jail yet. No jail or um, leave or any, you know, um, having to be put on administrative leave or leave without pay or what have you, what have you yet. But that's current energetic space because people didn't stand up in the face of adversity. But at the end, there's about to be action here, which will turn all this upright in a lot of situations but right now it's reversed so you plug it in how it resonates at the end action's coming here which is about to turn this private silent uh, not private silent investigation into a very public investigation holy shit man this is some deep shit i used to work in a jail as nursing staff if i found out about this shit you better believe uh-uh there is no damn way no damn way that's some sick shit and that's just the truth and the sad part is, a lot of these inmates uh, consensually agree to it for money for commissary. And that's sad. But one of them, they obviously didn't because it was a rape situation. I think that's the one that's about to result in the lawsuit, in my opinion. But you plug in how it resonates. This is about to turn into a huge deal. Many people didn't think it was going to, but it is about to. And a Leo masculine is getting a huge wake-up call. And a Libra masculine. And a Cancer masculine. Okay, I heard many people didn't think this would turn into a huge deal, but I heard it's about to. And it's about to quickly. And it's about to quickly. So many people didn't think this would turn into a huge deal, but it's about to quickly. And uh, we've got a Cancer Masculine, a Libra Masculine, and a Leo Masculine getting a huge wake-up call. So you could be a Cancer Masculine, Libra Masculine, or Leo Masculine that watches my channel, or somebody's going to show you my channel or this video. Somehow, we've got at least three masculine energies in the universe getting a huge wake-up call. I feel these could be the jail staff or the officers of the law or inmates that collaborated together for this prostitution for commissary, sh charade um or the rape situation we got inmates in there jail staff in there and police officers all collaborating together to do this shit heard they didn't think it was going to turn into a huge thing but it's about to several shocking series of chain events are about to occur with these situations soon it's about to start moving very fast Several shocking series of chain of events are about to occur with these situations. It's about to start moving fast. So, several shocking series of chain of events is about to occur with this situation. It's about to start moving fast. These people need to be put on leave, investigated, terminated, and put all smashed all over the news and publicly embarrassed, in my opinion. And that's just the truth. Of course, I'm not the news. I'm not the justice system. And I'm not the people about to handle this situation. But that's, in my opinion, what needs to happen. That's some shicey shit. Inmates. You had inmates on, in on it. Police officers in on it. And jail staff in on it. So the 
creating this, formulating this prostitution situation in a jail, the inmates benefited because they got money for commissary, but in one situation, there was a rape situation that happened. No, I mean, do I believe this should have happened? No, but definitely not the rape situation because these people already knew they were getting away with it. I heard people, other people that were not involved with this turned a blind eye to it for a long time. So they knew about it for a long time. Injustice in the situation. They didn't report it. They didn't speak up. They didn't go talk to somebody important or um, somebody that could help. They just turned the other way and looked a blind eye, which created injustice, basically. So it created this whole charade here. But it turned out that well, at least one person got raped in it because these people knew they could keep getting away with it. People kept turning a blind, blind eye. They knew they were abusing their authority and their power. They could get sex anytime they wanted as long as they were paying for it. But in one situation, they decided to rape somebody. Just because you're incarcerated doesn't mean you can rape somebody if anybody needs to hear that. Just saying, just saying. That's some sick shit. But we've got a Cancer Masculine, a Libra Masculine, and a... Um, who was the other one? Cancer, Libra, and a... Um, there was another sign. Cancer, Libra, and a... Um, hold on. Leo. Cancer, Libra, and a Leo masculine getting huge wake-up calls. So, at least three masculine energies. It might be more. Cancer, Libra, Leo masculines getting huge wake-up calls. I think they're part of this shit, or they were. You plug in how it resonates. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful night. Namaste.